All right, this will be the last portion we spend on the smoke. I'm just going to use this now to kind of tweak it, tweak it. Um, let me render this out. All right, so this is what we have. It took a while to render, especially with, like, no self-shadowing and stuff like that, so we're going to play with it a little bit. Select it. <laughs> I'm going to change it from a uh, Ray Marcher to an Octane Shader. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I'm going to leave it like that and just render one more frame. Alright, this is more like it. Um, it's it's a little dark, or I guess not dark, but thick. So I'm going to change this to point zero 0.01 and re-render. Alright, that's what we have. We'll do a... This one still leaves it a little bit hard to tell. You see how dense it gets right in here? So, again, another render. Now it seems to be a little light, but that's fine. We can do with light better. I'll just uh, move that down a bit. I keep trying to tell you everything's a tweak, and indeed it is. Make this keyless mode. Alright, let's keep going with this. I turn the opacity back up to point 0.1. And basically what we're doing now is just trying to figure out what we do and don't like about our current setup. And Seinfeld might be a little loud in the background, I apologize. I'm sure you can still hear me. Standard... Now, the light I have selected is Ray Trace. Is, is the only sport where the uniform Turn. You wear under your clothes in any other sport. Make this a uh, afterburn shadow map. And go back into your environment editor, um, environment effects thing. And. Let's turn on self shadows, shadow cast and receive, and re render. Oh, I made a mistake. I was going to say we made a mistake, but clearly it wasn't you. I forgot to add it in here, the light. So, again, re render. I stopped the render earlier. It's just taking too long. Um, luckily, we are. Well,. You guys will be. I'm not doing it in this tutorial, but the way you can approach this is um, you would have to render it in separate passes anyway because the Mental Ray and the Fusion Works renderer. So, um, we can do it in passes, which means we can just turn up the opacity, which will make these self shadows run quicker because it won't have to calculate as much volumetric smoke rather than shell smoke. Yeah, like this is turning out to be a disaster. Uh, we're just going to take a couple steps back. I'm going to uncheck these things. And I'm going to delete our light and render. Okay, see, and it pays off. Our smoke looks pretty good now. Um, what you'd want to do is when... You want to composite this because you want to render just the smoke, and you can do that underneath um, your render elements. You would just add atmosphere, and when you render it, it will give you also a video. It will give you your regular diffuse video, but it will also give you an atmosphere video where it will just show you the smoke. Um, let's. Well, I'll, I'll do a thing for you. Okay, so there we see our regular pass and then our atmosphere pass. This also comes with an alpha channel.
Um, they both come with alpha channels. But um, you would just use that in your compositing after you render it out or before. It doesn't matter the order. You render it out your your ray trace, not ray trace, your mental ray pass. So let's... Let's turn mental ray back on. And let's render... As you can see, um, it didn't render our smoke because, again, um, Mental Ray is not compatible with the Afterworks uh, Fusion Works renderer. So you'd have to definitely do it in two passes. But um, again, I'm not going to get into compositing. But that's exactly how you would do it. And that is, I think, the end of this tutorial then. Turn out the camera. Remember to uh, save your work, save. And also, if you wanted to which would also be a good idea uh, render elements you can add a reflective um, a reflection whatever I'll render this one last time for you so we can see the result of that also actually I'm gonna stop it we forgot one layer we'll do we'll be um, an alpha layer. Alpha will just provide us with um, oh well, bad example, but we'll be able to get rid of the background HDR map with this, and it'll be very helpful. All right, so this is what you end up with. You have one beauty pass right here where it has all of the elements. You have an alpha channel here which you would use to mask out the background HDR. You have reflections to add into your um, your final copy where that is just the atmosphere because the atmosphere will only show you the smoke. Again, the smoke isn't showing up here because the mental ray renderer does not work with the fusion works renderer. I don't even know if it's a render or whatever it is. Mental Ray doesn't work with Fusion Works, and that's how it is. You could do this in V Ray, that's a whole nother tutorial. And to be honest with you, I'm not all that good with V Ray, so I have no business making tutorials with it. So, that's it for the Falling Shells tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And <coughs> on a side note, I should mention that I want to make, I want to start doing live lessons, like teach a class. And um, Studio Max, maybe on stick cam, that's what I'm leaning towards. And I would um, do it on the weekends, probably Saturday nights, Friday nights, something like that. And I'll keep you updated with the information about that as I put the class together. But I would like to hear some shout-outs from people if they're interested or not. Until um, next time, be well.